Hey guys, welcome to Master Wing. Got a game for you. Hope you're excited about it. I know we are. Here we go. Uh, starting hand looks a little rough. We are not going first. We are playing The Flash. And I'm pressing record because just like his name suggests, he plays quickly. So um, we're going to take the Cardinal, Tree Creeper, and Lincoln Sparrow. That's right. It's not the strongest of hands. A lot of people are hesitant and avoid the tree creeper, but we're banking on it. All right. Um, of course it matches the first end around goal, but that's not why we're keeping it. Our opponent picked up what we thought. That's why we're keeping it. He picked up the starling and the pileated woodpecker. I never know how to pronounce that bird. Pileated woodpecker, whatever. Turn one tree creeper. You don't see it often, um, especially not with Oceania. You need a lot of extra eggs for the tree creeper to work. I'm hoping we can showcase some weird gameplay. That's what we do on the Mastering channel. Uh, but we got it down before they got the woodpecker down so we could grab the two nectar, get a little head start there. And I kept the Lincoln Sparrow because we, we assumed the Flash would take the Starling and we didn't really have a wetland option. And the Lincoln Sparrow lets me draw two cards now. So that's why we kept that. It's, it's not, th these migratory birds are very situational. Everybody knows that they're in the base game. Maybe they get more powerful with the expansions, but we do not, we do not consistently avoid the migratory birds. So we're going to try to make it work along with the Tree Creeper. We've got a Northern Cardinal, not bad. I'm thinking about the Budgie and the Tray. And check it out. The Woodpecker's activated. We got one egg. So uh, I may move the Sparrow into the Grassland for some more eggs. We'll see if my opponent can give us some more. Uh, I'm going to take the Budgergar. And we top deck the White-Faced Ibis, which isn't terrible. Let's move the, let's see, we got one egg. We either move it to the grassland or the forest. I'm thinking grassland. And of course I move it to the forest and the song sparrow pops up. Yes, okay. So my opponent is going to give us another um, egg, it looks like. So I'm thankful that we moved it to the forest, although we could have kept it in the grassland as well. And now I think we can go right into the Northern Cardinal. I wish there was one more nectar in the bird feeder, but that's okay. Uh, then I could play Cardinal and Budgie back to back. But we'll take a fish just in case we get to play this Ibis soon. And this sparrow doing work, so much value. Uh, we are amped with coffee today. I don't know if that's gonna adversely affect my decisions. You would think I'd never drank coffee before, but we're just feeling extra, extra amped. And with this fast gameplay, I just think this could be a good game. Canada Goose in the wetlands for my opponent. Interesting choice there, so we will try to deny some seeds when we can, but it's not my first priority. I mean, you always wonder with the Canada Goose in the wetlands if my opponent, check it out, Nectar, if my opponent has the main duck, which could be a really bad combo there for us. And we are not going to utilize the Tree Creeper this turn. And we only have two turns left, so I don't think I want this Nectar. My opponent has plenty of food. I think I'm just going to let the Nectar be. Because we get to go first, round two. Let me think. Hold on. Um, we for sure take the Nectar. We avoid the seed. Or my opponent can't get the seed. He's going to draw cards. And he's not going to gain Nectar his last two turns, so I think I'm okay leaving the Nectar there. That's fine. 
Kind of, kind of a weird gain food turn there, but uh, I want to get the budgie down. Oh, Clark's Grebe would have been good for us. So we've got a lot of low point birds here. Of course, we have the ecologist bonus card we passed on the forest data analyst. I think I could at least get six points out of ecologist, and I'm just not sure if I could get that second or third tier on that forest data forest data analyst. And we're one uh, food short of the ibis, and we're two eggs short of doing anything. So I think we need to lay eggs right here. Probably going to let this grebe go and just prepare for the next round. All right, um, I didn't move the sparrow down to the wetlands because as you can see, the second, third, and fourth slot all just draw two cards. I think the migratory birds are better in the base game um, and we're not going to discard extra eggs right now. My eggs are precious, so I wouldn't move it down to the wetlands, discard an egg and draw three cards. I really need those eggs. I like the rough, the cat bird is doable. I think the cat bird is, too good for my opponent to have if he has a goose or something else like that that he could repeat so we take those two cards and looks like my opponent is gaining food do we get an egg he gained food and did not give us an egg so smart play by them we could play the rough but i'm kind of leaning towards this waddle bird when's the last time you saw the red waddle bird out uh, Rainbow Lord Key it isn't bad either. It uh, lets you discard a nectar to the spent nectar space and gain another two food. And some people would go for that, but I think that's almost too much food. Like, like I don't think I need that much food. If I had their Starling, maybe I would go for the Lord Key. But I'm kind of feeling like a top deck and a waddle bird just to see what happens. We're testing things out. I think I could draw cards. Let me see. Um, gain food and play the waddle bird. Or I could even play this cat bird. There's a few different options here. I don't know if I'm going to have a lot of cards for this rough. but we get the night jar. So no worries, people. A two point pink powered night jar is going to help us. I think my opponent is not done gaining food for the rest of the game. And since I don't have a lot of extra cards, the rough is usually a higher tier bird than the night jar in my opinion. But I think I'm gonna go night jar. Uh, let's see, they drew birds again. Isn't it crazy how we leave the kill deer now? That we don't even think twice about it in Oceania. Well, some people think twice about it, but um, it's not the direction we're going in. We could throw it down and then lay eggs. But I'm not really feeling it. Four turns left in round two. I don't think I'm going to draw a ton of cards. The The rough just isn't my top priority. We'll see if we can get it down in these next four turns. But I think we need to gain some food. And depending, depending on what we re-roll... Oh, my opponent played the blue throw. That's going to help us out. Um, but they're going to get all the seeds they want for that goose. Depending on the re-roll, it's going to decide what bird I want to play next. Just a nice little lay eggs turn right there. And check it out, Night Jar comes in clutch. Now the bird feeder is in better shape for us. I've got, what, five eggs? Hmm, 
One, two, three. If I had six eggs, I could do something really dirty. Maybe you know what I'm already thinking about. Three turns left. One, two. All right. So I was thinking about a crazy play, but we're going to uh, hold off. We'll play the rough. The rough is always solid. I don't think I'm going to get three tucks under it, but if it can turn into a five or six point bird, it's worth it. Two turns left. Oh, my opponent. Look at them go in the wetlands. They got a mute swan down. Interesting. Mew Swan, Blue Throat, Canada Goose. Uh, their board looks a lot better than mine. So we are going to, I tell you what, we're going to get this cat bird down and use the tree creeper and probably park the Lincoln Sparrow in the grassland for a little bit. Um, we'll go ahead and spin that nectar. And the last turn, we will draw cards. Okay, uh, so the Lincoln Sparrow did its thing. It let us draw a couple cards here and there. It moved around, laid some eggs. Probably going to camp out. No, it's not. I tell you what, I'm thinking ahead here. I think we're going to... Draw cards this turn, lay eggs with the sparrow, put the sparrow in the forest, then gain food, and I'm going to try to double up on the tree creeper. If we can draw a good forest bird here. Because I have the red wattle bird in hand. Um, so I need to get some extra cards to tuck. Dang, I reset the tray, and I don't think that's anything we really want. Australasian Pippet is a no-go. Screech Owl. The Cockatoo. That's that's nothing. That's nothing. Um, ooh, the Pukeko. Pukeko might be worth grabbing. Uh, I think if my opponent gets it, that could be good for them. I'm not sure if we would use it. I mean, we are short on eggs, and he is giving us seeds, so. I don't know. It, the, the back half of the game, I'm not really um, concerned about the Pukeko as much. But I think I, I think it's worth denying. Cormorant. Oh, we revealed the red cockaded woodpecker. Um, we won that into round goal. It wasn't my primary focus. Check out this tray. I will take this tray, but we don't get to go first. Golden Eye, Spoonbill, and Snowy Owl. My opponent didn't take any of it. A little shock there. He played the Condor. So that might be my fifth forest bird. Let me see, I got three cavity nests. The spoonbill is, is a must, and I need to tuck a card with the budgerigar, so I think the snowy owl is lesser than the golden eye in this situation. A budgie tucking a snowy owl. That's wingspan, people. 
Uh, Franklin's Gold, nothing. And Pacific Black Duck, for every two eggs in your wetlands, you get to lay an egg at the end of the game. Very situational, not gonna help us out. So, let's see what our opponent does. I mean, actually it's pretty straightforward for them. They're probably just gonna draw birds, birds, birds uh, with their mute swan and see if they can add another bird. Although they played that condor. Um, oh guys, I'm about to do the sick move. Y'all wait for it. We're gonna do some tree creep action. Uh, don't think I'm, uh, yeah, I'm done with this, Pukeko. So, now that we have six eggs, check it out. Lincoln Sparrow has moved. Lincoln Sparrow has moved, and now we are in prime position for a catbird tree creeper combo only on the Master Wing channel. It's a weird play, but it is a fun play. This red wattle bird should give me, what, three nectar? So check it out here, people. Um, we'll take the fish while it's available. Ah, should have been more picky. There was three nectar in the tray, but that's all right. Now we are gonna move the sparrow Probably going to camp out there the rest of the game. And instead of repeating the cardinal, one, two, we have enough eggs, six eggs, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, yep. That we pull off the double tree creep. Let me see. Just making sure. Let's do it. Gotta play the red wattle bird first. We need that nectar. So birds less than 49 centimeters, we all, uh, I get a nectar for that. So I got three of those. And now the golden eyed big double play in Oceania. And the golden eye will get me at least three eggs at the end of the round. You don't see the tree creeper often in Oceania. Of course, we are completely out of eggs now, but that is okay. Um, we're winning this end of round goal. Food cost to play birds. We need to lay eggs, and then I will probably play a bird here at the end. I don't think I can. Well, I maybe can afford two of them. We'll see. Uh, they keep giving me food. I maybe could do some force down stuff. We will go ahead and discard. They did play that condor in the wetlands. Kind of a interesting move, but I know they wanted to get three cards, which makes sense. I think they might give me another food here anyway, so I am okay burning some food for extra eggs. Sparrow's done. He's in a great spot. That's like, I won't, I won't say the best spot in the grassland, but being able to lay four eggs now. Um, and I've got two wetland birds. We'll increase this ecologist bonus. Um, things are working out. I, I don't think it's going to be an amazing high score. The tucks are always scary with a mute swan. And I play the Ibis first instead of the Spoonbill in case we draw cards next round. You know, we'll cross our fingers. Maybe we could get a cash versus the Spoonbill. You know, you're not going to activate a brown power, obviously. So that's why we elected to go with the Ibis first. And what's he got? 30 tucks right now? 32 tucks? I don't know. Um... Sometimes these tucking games can, can 
really get ugly. Um, you never know if they drew Benelli's or maybe they get a Mockingbird and double up on something. I think the main duck would probably be GG for them. And one, two, three, four. Collar dove, that's perfect. Um, I think I made a mistake though. I should have taken a trash card here. Like this Pacific Black Duck. Because I, I needed the rough to tuck two cards. And instead I top decked the collar dove and I should have drawn just two trash ones and then tucked. So uh, we lost out on point there, but that's okay. I'll take this fly catcher. And that really gives me, okay, the tray is nothing. That gives me some confidence in the last, last five turns. My end game, I think we gain some food, play some birds, and lay eggs at the end of the game. Um, really fortunate to have seen that fly catcher and that collared dove. Otherwise, we probably would have drawn cards right here. But we will stack up on food for the ammo. We'll play probably the spoon bill. I think. And then we'll play the fly catcher. And then I'll save the dove for last. Sometimes when you play those teal power, like the dove, uh, early, then your opponent's like, oh, I don't want to give him more food to tuck. And sometimes it doesn't matter. But a little mind game there. If I play the dove now, maybe he hesitates and doesn't give me extra food. Just a little thought there. Rose Spoonbill. I need something good here. We'll clear out this golden eye. Mechanical Engineer for eight points that turned into a 13 point play actually a 15 point play with ecologist that's what we need i i do not think this is a giveaway game uh we're progressing we have birds we want to play but i'm not sure it's going to be enough to beat the flashes tux there's that extra food and he gained it gave me a, a berry Hmm. He intends to play something if he's giving me a berry and not doing a seed. So we will see what his in-game bomb is. Stay tuned to watch uh, the Flash's bonus cards. No matter what happens, we, we want to see what he was going for. And the Flycatcher was a six-point play. It's not the best, but it's not the worst. We'll take six points. I don't have any other engine, really. And it looks like we will have plenty of food to tuck under the collar dove. And we are doing great on all the nectar battles. That's another disadvantage of a full tuck is sometimes you can't get all that nectar to compete. There we go. And the last turn... We have plenty of food to tuck, so the last turn's a little uneventful. We will lay four eggs and see where the cards lie. With all those cards, I mean, really curious what they do. And they gave me a nectar, so he is going to play something with nectar here. I wonder if they have Visionary Leader, maybe. Could be doing a double play. Um, sitting at 101 points. I don't know if that's enough. We don't have any cards to tuck with this rough. We drew exactly the birds we wanted, so probably an opportunity there. Um, the rough wasn't... Amazing. I know a lot of people would pass over this waddle bird, but I wanted to try something different this game. 
So we lay four eggs. Uh, we get zero rough tucks, but we will get five tucks for the color dove, and we'll get three eggs for the golden eye. These teal powers. Gotta love them. Some people ask, what expansion should you get? The European expansion with the teal powers is underrated. It's the smallest expansion, but it's worth it. They play the downy woodpecker and the cockapo. So they got two points for nectar. They got seven points of bird points. So that's nine. Then you subtract the eggs. That's seven. Then they probably pulled the a bonus card. So I am not sure, people. That's a lot of tucked cards. Uh, the Nectar could win the game for us. We will see. Thank you for watching. Uh, if you could like or subscribe for me. Much appreciated. 49 bird points. Oh, he had 16 bonus. You really want a bigger lead against a full tuck board. Oh no, oh, oh, he's got 50 tucks, but the Nectar, the Nectar, the Nectar, 113, 108, we get the dub, kind of an average score at 113, the Kakapo, so Citizen Scientist, not the best card, but it was still a 12 point play or something like that, Viticulturist, so that probably completed that bonus card and the ethologist. Man, that was a great power play at the end from the flash. GG. Look at all those tucks. 48, 50 tucks. And he had a lot of good birds in hand. Thank you for watching, guys. Lincoln Sparrow and the Tree Creeper with the double play. Those were the highlights. See you next time. Peace.